We have invented a silicon-based biosensor chip for low-cost and portable use in healthcare diagnostics. As we all know, healthcare costs are skyrocketing and uh, diagnostics is an important fraction of it. Almost $1.3 trillion can be saved with improvements in prevention, so early diagnostics becomes a key. Molecular diagnostics is one of the growing areas of diagnostics. It tries to infer on a person's health by measuring genetic sequences, but current diagnostic methods are very centralized. If you wanted to go and test for tuberculosis, you would likely go to a diagnostic center where your blood will be drawn, they would be preserved, processed, and then sent to a centralized laboratory, and that would be analyzed by skilled technicians using complex optical methods. On the other hand, if you look at the world of silicon integrated circuits, Moore's law allows you to pack in the power of a billion transistor in a very, very small chip. So you can make really complex systems that are low power, low cost, portable, and to be used by inexperienced personals. One can imagine that these biosensor chips can be used at the point of care, at the field, in a rural health settings. Access to low-cost healthcare is not just an issue in this country, it's an issue across the world. So solving it is not just an academic challenge. So the key discovery that makes this possible is the ability to incorporate optical nanostructures inside a standard CMOS integrated circuit fabrication that allows us to remove all the complex optical components and put all the complexities inside the chip. We don't make any changes to the CMOS fabrication process. It's the same process that manufactures the chips in your smartphones, your laptops. The chip allows you to analyze and process multiple analytes at the same time. And this is extremely crucial for reliable and accurate diagnosis. So if you dive inside a silicon chip, you would see millions and millions of transistors be interconnected in a complex multi-layer network. But it turns out, because of their nanoscale dimensions, they can simultaneously be used to interact with the optical fields, in this particular case, filtering the background signal, leading to very sensitive detection of the body molecules. Once a diagnostic technology becomes a millimeter size, low power chip, one can imagine that these would be inside your body taking complex measurements and perhaps relaying that information to your phone telling you how your inside system is functioning. So the miniature diagnostic device makes portable biosensors and personalized healthcare a real possibility. Mm -hmm.